perché il destino ci contusse lassù, dove i tuoi baci non dimentico più, mai più. Cantavi in un caffè di casa blanca, cantando, cantavi con le lacrime per me. My name is Domenico Reda. So I started to work here exactly. January the 9th, 1961. And I worked for my uncle because he was the owner of the barbershop, the original owner. My uncle was working in Manhattan as a barber. He, he said, why I got to work in Manhattan? He was living in, in Astoria, so he opened this shop. It's a barbershop since 1926. I was uh, 24 when I started working for Mr. Dominic. So we worked together a very, very long time. Well, when I started, it was just Scissors and comb, no machines. Now it's different. They, you use a machine, so, and you gotta use the scissors too. But most of the time you use a machine, because they're like very, very short, and you cannot do with the scissors very, very short. You have to use a machine. I came here, I was 18 years old. So I walk in here, the vibe gave it to me, you know, I said, that's the place I wanna be. That's the neighborhood I wanna be. This is a unique barbershop, I believe, I, I be, I, I, I'm a very modest. The best barbershop in, in Queens, I don't want to say the five boroughs. I'm a modest, but it, 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 without any question. Don't forget the most important feature. This is the original owner. This is an, an old barber, barber license. This barber license, I found it behind this wall. Yeah, take a, the old furniture out, we replace with this. He find behind the wall, you see, this is license. Original frame, original license, the way it is, I yeah. never touch yeah. it, I, I yeah. left it the way it is. So time go by, then 1967, I took over from my uncle. You know, I took over because he, he was retired, so that time I was a young man. And until, I stay here until these two guys are coming, and I sell it to them every 45 years or 50 years or whatever. I left this chair for him, I left the station. You know, I told him, you, we, I still call him boss. He's, uh, you know, hospitality to the people, hospitality to, towards us. When we work with Mr. Dominic, he never feel like, uh, like we were like a worker. And we try to return double to him. Why? Because uh, that's the way he taught us, you know. This, we learn a lot of things from him. And he make us like a, feel like a family. When we're working all together, it doesn't matter where the customer is sitting, we, all, we can talk from the first to the last chair, you know, to the customer. And uh, the, the customer sitting in a back chair, he can talk all the way from the front chair. It, it, it's, it's like that. It's like you go to some barbershop that I've been long, long time ago, you know, everybody, it's like a horse working only uh, in this chair. It's like nobody around them, you know. He is not like that, he is like a family. We're all talking, we're all having good time. If you stand by the door at every second, you say, hello, how are you, hello, how are you? That's how you do, because you know everybody after 40 years. Oh, it's very personal, because sometimes, you know, people want to look good, they want to feel good. If you give a nice haircut, the person feels good, and it makes you feel you're good yourself. Oh, no matter if you got a, a, a Versace suit, if you got a lousy haircut, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, if you got a Rolex, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you got a, people look at your head, they look at your suit. Hey, my friend. My life here for 55 years was the best, the best, the best. I grow, I, I take the fam, I take care of the family. I send my kids uh, in a good school, in college. They become nice, and they, I have a house. I mean, I don't live like a millionaire because I mean, you can become a millionaire, but I live a good life. You know, we are the same way of the artist. Why? Because when you give a shape on the back of the head, that's a very art. That's a very art because if you give a crooked, it's a crooked art. So it is art. Sideburns has to be straight. You know, all the hair, when you lay it up, it has to be straight. You know, when you do fade, it has to be straight. So it's, it is art. You know, so your art now, not only one people looking, you know, it's like exhibit. You see, you go outside, everybody looking, and people say, where do you got that beautiful haircut? And you say, oh, in modern barbershop. They say, where is this located? And people, short enough, they come. I repeat, the best barbershop in Queens. 
and may, maybe I'm going to change my mind. They're the best in the five bottles. Thank you, 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 thank you. Bravissimo. 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 I can produce you way now.